Miss Featherington, why is it you sit at your drawing room window so often? I... All week I've watched you search for someone. I thought you might have had a falling out with Mr. Bridgerton. But now I suspect you may have been searching for him for a very different reason. You had is that a brother? Colin? Hey. hey. It's good to see you. Is it? I wrote to you. Like Son. I would never dream of courting Penelope and Featherington. Why? You did not respond. I'm not the man I was last season. You so miss you. You're looking for someone. You miss me. So I'm most certainly not ashamed of you, Pen. You miss me, but you would never caught me, is that correct? The opposite is true, in fact. There is nothing more I want. Are we not friends? And to end up the favour of the one person who has always truly made me feel appreciated. Friends. Mr. Bridgerton, we were wondering why an eligible gentleman such as yourself do you kiss me? Would help a spinster find a husband. You agree, I am unteachable. Especially someone who is so beyond hope of success. You are very teachable. You truly write so well. You make it seem effortless, which is so difficult to do. I do not wish to die without ever having me. You simply do not need to be taught. You already know how to do this. As you consider suitable matches for Francesca, what do you hope she finds? Passion? Excitement? The love that is thrilling? I don't know what you speak. <laughs> I thought you believed the best foundation for great love is friendship. Indeed, I do. It is how your father and I began. Speaking of Mr. Bridgerton, and the feelings between the two. But it is rare. Colin Bridgerton would never, ever have feelings for me. It is laughable to think as much. We are friends. Do you mind if I interrupt? to begin as friends and for both parties to then film more. But would you like it to be more? And how did you and Father know it was reciprocated? Oh, do not tell me you're holding out for love. Courage is within us all. As long as we are honest with ourselves and about our feelings. Love is make-believe. It's only in your storybooks. It is possible to do anything. Pen. I can't marry him, you hardly know him. I know him, I do. Because he gave up the courage to ask. Penelope. I do not wish to speak with you. Please. What do you want? These past few weeks have been full of confounding feelings. I speak to Penelope. Feelings like a total inability to stop thinking about you. A feeling that is like torture. Did you? Who did, did she say? But one which I cannot, will not, do not want to give up. You are friends. I'm very much like to be more than friends. For God's sake, Penelope Featherington, are you going to marry me or not? So much more.